Hello, my wonderful and lovely students. So today I'm going to show you guys how to complete this Helena story uh, in black and white. Uh, so this is a pedigree, okay? This is a pedigree story. Now, uh, let me go ahead and switch my camera so we can get started here. And sorry, I'm recording this in my classroom and I got a few other kids in here. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started here. All right, so the first thing that we need to know, all right, is read through the instructions here. So we need to read Helena's story below and map out a pedigree of all named individuals, shading in only those affected by albinism. So we need to shade in people who are the individuals who are affected by albinism. Then we need to determine whether the trait is going to be dominant or recessive. Your evidence should include individuals genotype. So what's a genotype guys? Exactly. So a genotype is going to be those genes or that um, the coding, right? Uh, so we're going to put the genotype above each symbol, draw a square to represent males. Okay, so this square right here is going to be for males. And we're going to draw a circle for females. So I'm going to have a circle over here for females. And then we're also going to write their name below each symbol. Okay. All right. Oh, looks like Miss Reyes forgot to do something, and that's to put her name at the very top here. All right. So make sure you get your name on there because I cannot give you a grade if I don't know who did the, the work. All right. So let's start by reading, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight important parts uh, that we are going to need to definitely keep track of in order to make this pedigree. So Helena was always different. Growing up as a person with albinism, oh, so Helena has albinism, right? Okay, so we are going to basically start with Helena down here. Uh, so we're going to be drafting our pedigree down here. And Helena, right, is a female. So she's going to have a circle. And we also need to make sure that we're writing her name. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was just informed that you could not see that at all. So my bad. Anyways, Helena is a female, so we've definitely got a circle going here. And Helena is also a person who has albinism. So we are also going to go ahead and shade in her circle, okay? But at least we've got our first step going on here, okay? So uh, let's continue reading. So the lack of pigment in her skin, eyes, and hair made her stand out amongst her non-albino peers. She grew up along, among family and friends where she felt relatively safe, but her mother was always very cautious about her being in, out in the sun. She had developed a spot on her scalp that her mother noticed one day while brushing her hair, so they went to the doctor to have it examined. The doctor asked about family history, and since Helena's mother, Harriet, had been researching their family history for some time, they began to create a more complete picture of the generations that came before. So there's actually something that I kind of did not catch here. Oh, Helena's mother, Helena's mother's name is Harriet, okay? So uh, the idea of a pedigree is to show generations. So Helena is gonna be one generation and her parents are gonna be another generation. So we're gonna put her mom on the right side here and we're gonna put her dad on the left side here. Uh, so we do know uh, Helena's mom, right? And her name was Harriet. And it does not say that yet, at least, uh, that she has albinism. So we'll keep going. Uh, Harriet shared what she had discovered about their family history with the help of Helena's grandmother, Henrietta, and grandfather, Joe. So now we've got two more individuals to add to our uh, pedigree here. So these are Helena's grandmother, and we're going to assume that that's Helena's uh, or Helena's mother's parents, right? So we got another generation going on here, okay? And that generation is going to consist of grandmother Henrietta. So I'm going to put her here on the right, Henrietta. And I'm going to put Grandpa Joe right over here on the left side. Okay. All right. 
it says here that Harriet also has two sisters, an older sister named Kiara and a younger sister named Faith, neither of whom were albino. All right, so neither of them have albinism. So Harriet has two sisters. So we're actually going to branch out here. The problem is, is Miss Reyes did not really leave enough room here, but Joe and Henrietta would basically have another branch. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, so we're going to draw that branch out here and we are going to include sisters Kiara and sister Faith. All right. So those are going to be Helena's aunts. All right, so let's keep, uh, so neither of them were albino, which means we, or neither of them had albinism, which means that uh, we do not have to fill in anybody's box yet. And because we know that Helena has a father, we still just don't know who that is yet, okay? So anyways, let's continue on. So we've got a little bit of a chunk of our pedigree going, but we really need to get the rest of it. So Henrietta said neither her own mother, Irene, or father, Martin, were albino. So Henrietta said neither her own mother, Irene, or Martin were albino. Okay, so that means that we're going to start down here at the bottom with good old Henrietta. Oops, sorry, guys. Can't see it. There we go. Hey, now I can zoom in a little. All right, so we're going to start with good old Henrietta. All right, who we know from up here, Henrietta is the mother of Harriet, who is the mother of Helena. So Henrietta is Helena's grandmother. So we're gonna start with Henrietta here and she has a mother, Irene, and a father, Martin. So we gotta go up a generation here and we're gonna put the mother on the right side here and mother's name was Irene. Okay, and the father's name was Martin. Okay, so we have Irene and Martin as the great grandparents of Helena, basically. All right, let's keep reading. Uh, so neither of them had albinism. So again, we didn't need to fill anything out, but that she had a grandmother named Roberta. So uh, Henrietta's grandmother is named Roberta. So that means that we're going to follow Irene up here. Okay. And we are going to now know that Irene, Irene's mom is Roberta. And Irene's dad. Oh, do we know Irene's dad yet? No, we don't. Okay. So, uh, back to reading but we do know that irene has a dad because she exists right okay uh but that she had a grandmother named roberta irene's mother who was al who had albinism okay so that means that irene's mother roberta has albinism so we do need to shade dear old roberta in here okay henrietta loved to tell the story of her grandfather silas all right, so here's that grandfather. So this is Henrietta's grandfather, which means this is her mom. That must be her mom's dad here. So this is gonna be Silas, good old Silas. And how he fell in love with Roberta when they were both teenagers. Roberta was the only person in her family who showed this trait. Joe explained that he had not known anyone in his family that, was, that had albinism. Harriet knew this to be true as she had never met anyone in her family that had this phenotype, okay? And phenotype, what does that mean, guys? Exactly, phenotypes is that physical characteristic. Don't forget the pH and the pH, right? They match. All right, on to the back side of the page. Okay, so starting here at the top. After hearing Harriet's story of her family, Helena asked about her own father, Harry. So now we know Helena's father is named Harry, okay? So that means we can start with Helena down here at the bottom, because that's who we're talking about, right? Helena, 
All right, and we know that Helena does have albinism. That's the whole reason we're doing this whole thing. So she's got to get shaded back in. And uh, again, she asked about her own father, Harry. Okay. Uh, so she asked about her own father, Harry, and his parents. So Harry's got some parents. Harriet had only met Harry's parents a few times as they had lived so far away, but she knew they were they did not have albinism. She also knew nothing about any of his or other family members since he was an only child and did not have any cousins or extended family of which she was aware. So sounds like we're done here. However, I do think that we could go ahead and fill out who the mom is by simply looking at that first pedigree that we did because we know over here that Helena's mother was Harriet. So we're gonna go ahead and fill out Harriet here as well. All right. Okay, moving on to the second part here. So Helena came to build strong relationships with her doctors who offered advice and helped her with her condition. Even though following advice like staying out of the sun and always carrying sunscreen lotion was annoying at times. Like many people with albinism, she developed issues with her vision and her skin was extremely sensitive to the sun. Years later, Helena decided that she wanted to go to the local university to study medicine where she could become a dermatologist and help others. While there, she met Samuel. Samuel reminded Helena of her grandfather with his dark and her dark, his dark eyes and tall stature. Over the next few years at the university, they fell in love and planned to get married after graduation. So because it does not specifically say that they were married or that they had children, this box we technically cannot fill out so i'm actually just going to cross that out there's no information here all right it was just there to basically trick us into thinking there might be some important information there so we're going to go ahead and move on to the very bottom part of this page and i'm going to continue to highlight things that are important so helena had asked samuel about his family and whether any of his family had been born with albinism he had lived with four generations of his family and none had ever shown this trait. They graduated, married soon after and had their first child. Okay, so now, now we've actually confirmed that Samuel marries Helena, right? And they have children. So we're gonna start them up here at the top because now we're talking about their babies. So Helena's right over here. And don't forget to shade in Helena because we know that the whole reason we're even doing this story is because Helena has albinism. So we got Helena over here and now we can add Samuel uh, as the father. And as we know, they have their first child who is a son named Stone. And because he's a son, he's a male. Therefore, we will use a little box here, okay? All right, anyways, he was born with the same skin tone as his father. And we know that Samuel was not affected. Oops, forgot to add the name Stone, my bad. All right, but anyways, we know that Samuel is not affected. Be, uh, and so therefore, because he has the same skin tone, Stone was not affected. Uh, anyways, uh, Helena opened a medical practice that specialized in melanoma diagnosis and treatment and could help others who shared her own health concerns. They went on to have two more children as well. Byla, who was a daughter. All right, so we can draw another branch out here because now we know we've got brothers and sisters. So we've got Byla, who was a sister, a daughter, and we can add her as a circle. All right. And they're also going to have the youngest son, Braxton. Look at that. So we'll need to extend our line over here a little bit more so that we can make some room for good old Braxton, who is a son and therefore gets a square. All right. Okay. None of their children had albinism, though Helena suspected the gene could show up in generations to come as it did with her. All right. So we have finished this, but... Remember, we only finished chunks of the whole pedigree. Now we need to put the pedigree together, okay? So 
we've got this little worksheet over here on the side. All right, so we're gonna go through this together as we look at our answers. Okay, so we need to take a look at these chunks. And now that I have moved my camera up so that we can hopefully get like a good bird's eye view of everything all at once. All right, so I think that the best thing that we can do here is to basically start at the bottom because we know definitely who the youngest individuals are. So we're gonna go from bottom up. So we know that this is going to be Braxton because that almost matches up exactly, right? And then this middle one is going to be Byla and that last one is going to be Stone. None of these three are filled in here. And so we will not fill in anyone over here. However, we know that uh, all three of these kids shared the parents, Samuel and Helena. So we can go ahead and add them to the final version of our pedigree. And Helena. But make sure you don't forget to fill in Helena's circle here. Because again, the whole reason we're doing this is because Helena had albinism. All right, so at least we've got this lower portion of our generation here. Now we can move up here, right? Oh, look at that. Helena, right? We know Helena's parents are Harry and Harriet. So we can go ahead and add them to the picture. Harry and Harriet. All right, and it looks like Harriet must have had some sisters here. And when do I remember talking about sisters? Oh, that's right, up here all the way at the beginning. So Harriet's sisters were Kiara and Faith. Oops. Kiara and Faith. All right, and if we follow that up, we know that Harriet, Kiara, and Faith's parents are Joe and Henrietta. All right. Okay, so now that we've got basically all of the information that we got from up here, the last bit of information that we can get from this worksheet is this right here. So look at that, Henrietta. From Henrietta, we know Henrietta's parents were Martin and Irene. All right. And if we continue to follow that up from Irene's parentage, we see that her parents were Silas and Roberta. All right, so we see that their parents were Silas and Roberta, but also do not forget to make sure that you shade in Roberta's circle over here, okay? All right, so that is a completed pedigree. So think about this as like the draft, right? We had to go through the whole story, really start to sketch things out. But then at the end, we were able to put it all together and get a full picture of this whole uh, family's lineage, right? We we're able to see where that uh, trait is being passed along here. And because most of these people are unaffected by the trait of interest, which is that albinism trait, because most of these people aren't unaffected by it, we can assume that albinism is going to be a recessive trait. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. So go ahead and put it in your notebook. Bye.